Japan is the world's most technologically advanced country. Filled with innovative engineering and technological marvels built in a way to withstand various disasters. However, the country's man-made airport island, Kansai International Airport, might be one of the biggest engineering disasters they've ever seen. Do you know why? Join us as we discuss the reason. Located off the coast of Senshu in Osaka Bay, Kansai Airport stands as the world's first offshore airport, built entirely on a man-made island. Although the airport opened in September 1994, there have been plans to build one since 1960, when the Kansai region was rapidly losing trade to Tokyo. So planners wanted an airport between Osaka and Kobe to fill the void left by the city's original airport, Itami Airport. This is because Itami Airport couldn't cater for international flights and cargo, despite being tagged an international airport and it's mainly because it was situated in the densely populated area of Itami and Toyonaka. It's surrounded by many buildings, couldn't be expanded, and to make the matter worse, many of the citizens complain of noise pollution problems. Kansai Airport wouldn't have been located offshore, but following the protests that surrounded the building of Narita International Airport, planners decided to build another one offshore. The plan was to build the airport near Kobe, but the city refused, so the airport moved to a more southern location on Osaka Bay. There, it could be open 24 hours a day, unlike most airports in Japan. The island was proposed with a length of 4 km and a breadth of 2.5 km, and a water depth of 18 m on top of 20 m of soft Holocene clay which holds 70% water. Engineers understand the need to overcome the extremely high risks of earthquakes and typhoons in the area. So, a million sand drains were built into the clay to remove water and solidify the clay. Construction started in 1987, and the sea wall, which was made of rocks and 48,000 tetrapods, was finished two years later. Three mountains were excavated for 21 million cubic meters, and 180 million cubic meters were used to construct Island 1. Over three years, 10,000 workers using 80 ships took 10 million man hours to complete the 30 or 40 meter layer of earth over the seafloor and inside the sea wall. In 1990, a three kilometer bridge was completed to connect the island to the mainland at Rinku Town. At a cost of $1 billion, the completion of the artificial island increased the area of Osaka Prefecture just enough so that it is no longer the smallest prefecture in Japan. Kansai Airport was opened on September 4, 1994, to relieve the overcrowding at Osaka International Airport. The airport, designed by popular Italian architect Renzo Piano, consists of two terminals and is the longest airport terminal in the world with a length of 1.7 kilometers. The airport serves as an international hub for several airlines, like Japan Airlines, All Nippon Airlines, Nippon Cargo, and Peach, which is the first international low-cost carrier in Japan. It is also the North Pacific hub for FedEx Express. It became the international gateway for Japan's Kansai region, which contains major cities like Osaka, Kyoto, and Kobe while domestic flights take off at Osaka Airport in Itami or Kobe Airport. Because it's situated on an island, the airport is connected only by a long bridge named Skygate Bridge R that consists of road and rail to transport passengers to and from. The airport was so busy that it was named the third busiest in Japan in 2019 after 31.9 million passengers used the airport. The freight volume alone was 802,162 tons. In 2020, Skytrax ranked it among the top 10 airports globally. It also earned prestigious titles such as Best Airport Staff in Asia, World's Best Airport Staff, and World's Best Airport for Baggage Delivery. But amidst all these, there have been concerns about the airport even before it was constructed. It had been predicted that the island airport would sink 5.7 meters as the weight of materials used for construction compressed the seabed silts. However, the island had sunk 8.2 meters by 1999, almost 50% more than predicted. To address the gradual sinking of the island, engineers designed adjustable columns to support the terminal. These columns can be extended by adding thick metal plates to their bases while government officials suggested shortening the terminal to reduce costs. 
architect Renzo Piano firmly advocated for maintaining its full planned length. Renzo Piano is a well-known architect who has had numerous wonderful high-tech projects, such as the Centre Pompidou in France, the Auditorium Parco della Musica in Italy, the Shard in London, and many more wonderful, mind-blowing high-tech architectural projects. Despite all Renzo Piano's years of experience, he was unable to ascertain perfection in the Kansai Airport construction, which, together with some reasons, led to incessant sinking. Because it was situated on water, the sea level always increased, primarily due to climate change, while rising sea levels posed serious risks to coastal regions, including increased flooding, erosion, and loss of habitat. Kansai Airport sinking only got magnified by it. It's unfortunate that the island was built on a soft seabed, which would be waterlogged and would struggle to hold the weight of the airport's massive infrastructure. Additionally, higher sea levels make it harder to manage flooding and protect the island's infrastructure, further complicating efforts to stabilize the sinking land. Also, there seem to be some issues with the airport's design, which is why the predictions of engineers aren't anywhere near and the infrastructure sinks faster. While we're still on this, it bore toward the foundation of the airport. Ideally, once the foundation was established, iron rods should have been driven into the seabeds to support boundary rocks that would protect the island from wind and wave erosion. Additionally, concrete retaining walls would have been constructed on the island for further protection. The foundation was constructed using a combination of advanced engineering techniques to create a stable base in the soft clay seabed of Osaka Bay. It was constructed using sand, gravel, and drainage systems to compact and strengthen the soil. But the foundation design proved insufficient to fully stabilize the weak clay layers below. These layers are still compacting, causing the island to sink faster than expected. When Japan was struck by the Great Hanshin earthquake in 1995, the epicenter of which was about 20 kilometers away from Kix, it killed 6,434 people on Japan's main island of Honshu. Canada's earthquake engineering, particularly the use of sliding joints, allowed the airport to emerge unscathed. Even the glass in the windows remained intact. On the 22nd of September 1998, the airport survived another typhoon with wind speeds over 130 miles per hour. But the airport wasn't lucky when another typhoon struck in 2018. Typhoon Jebi, one of the strongest typhoons to hit Japan in 25 years, struck in September 2018 and caused widespread destruction, particularly impacting Kansai International Airport. When the event unfolded, it caused extreme wind and storm surge, which brought sustained winds of 99 miles per hour. The powerful winds and heavy rain resulted in severe flooding of the airport, causing the seawater to drown the airport's runways and terminals. Parts of the runways were sunk under several feet of water, and basement areas of the terminal buildings were also flooded, disabling essential services like power and air conditioning, and also causing numerous damages to the infrastructure. The typhoon also crashed into the sole bridge connecting the airport to the mainland. This accident damaged the road and rail lines on the bridge, leaving over 3,000 passengers and airport staff stranded, causing the total shutdown of the airport, and a large-scale evacuation was carried out. Helicopters and boats were used to rescue those trapped at the airport. It took several days for flights to resume, and it took months to fully repair the damage to the bridge. While the impact of Typhoon Jebi on Kansai International Airport highlighted the vulnerability of coastal infrastructure to extreme weather events, it isn't the main reason why the airport keeps sinking. We're talking about the soft seabed soil on which the island was built. The heavy weight of the airport infrastructure caused the soft seabed to compress and settle, leading to shrinkage. This natural process, known as soil consolidation, happens more rapidly due to the softness of the soil. The soft seabed soil, which is often composed of clay and silt, has low strength and high compressibility. This means it can easily deform under load, leading to settlement and shrinkage. As the first man-made airport, lessons were learned from its mistakes. Lessons that were clearly applied to the design and construction of Hong Kong International Airport. But to save the airport from being covered completely by the sea, 
Workers have excavated from the passenger terminal below the infrastructure, and iron plates were inserted beneath the hydraulic jacks to raise the column in stages. Even with these measures, the airport is likely to keep sinking, albeit at a far slower rate. Maybe if the jacks would always be readjusted every two years as promised, the two artificial islands would outlive 2056, which has been predicted to be the time they'll both sink another 13 feet. As impressive as Japan's technological feats are, Kansai International Airport remains a stark reminder that even the most advanced innovations can face unforeseen challenges. Despite the efforts to slow the sinking, the airport's future is uncertain. But who knows, maybe there's a solution out there that hasn't been tried yet. If you have any ideas or insights, we'd love to hear them. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you for joining us on this deep dive into one of Japan's most fascinating engineering endeavors. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more captivating content.